for the tentacles, we really only need a very small amount of color. And it ends up stretching into numerous different tentacles. Scoops of glass that we use over there. So if you want to follow me around this way. And then this is going to be the white that we use for the cap. Yeah. And if you see, this is a much finer grain, uh -huh. um, which is what we prefer to use for the caps uh, because it, it kind of rounds out the form a little bit better than the larger chunks. Uh, whereas the larger chunks are really good for the tentacles where you get different colors in each tentacle. Uh -huh. And then if you want to hang out on this mat, that'll be a good place to watch. So what we're going to be working on is this solid putty. Um, it's just a solid rod. Um, here it's fully room temperature and safe for me to hold. Where you start to see discoloration, that's where it's definitely really, really hot and I would never touch that. Um, the furnace, this is our main glass melting furnace. It rests at 2100 degrees and that's the temperature where glass is really molten. Um, and then once we pull glass out of the furnace, it's always cooling down. So we have these smaller reheating chambers that I'll keep going back to to get more heat into the glass. We sort of have to keep kind of working the heat back in so you can keep working with it. So I'll open the door and you'll probably be able to feel the heat from over there. Yeah. <laughs> have you been doing this? I've been blowing glass about seven years, uh -huh. um, but I'm new as a glass blower at the studio. Okay. As you can see, we're starting to get longer lines oh, yeah. in the interior of the glass. that tool called that you're using? Um, the jacks. Jacks? Jacks. Yeah. Jacks. Alright, and now this, this glass is pulled down enough that it's stable, it's not moving anymore. Yeah, 
She's putting the fine white powder on the glass. that area now that you've pinched down? This is probably three quarters of an inch. About that. A little bit more. A little bit more than half an inch. Okay. Um, and it's a lot smaller than this. So we're going to apply a little dab of water to that constriction line. The constriction and the food. <laughs> uh, we'll let this glass know exactly where to break. It'll break exactly on that line since we're combining two different ways of weakening the glass. Right. Then you can see it's um, it's glowing less than it was a little while ago. I can turn a lot more slowly and it's not falling off center. I'm gonna hold it. 
product. Here's my hand for comparison in size. Very pleased with the jellyfish. You can see underneath. There's also the stamp. A big shout out to Lincoln City Glass Center and Anya who made this wonderful jellyfish paperweight for me.